hi welcome again so in this video we're going to see how we can add a landscape material into a mobile landscape and try to optimize that right now we have a mobile landscape here so basically it's it's a pretty simple landscape and it's running with 40 frames a second but the number you're getting is quite low due to the screen recording software i did a video on how how i achieved this so you can see that in the description below so now let's try to add a open land material into this and try to see how it behaves right so i'm selecting my landscape from the outliner and i'm opening open land and then go to the theme section default and i'm going to select the mobile theme so i'm going to click that and i'm going to click this arrow and it's available right i have already compiled this so that's why it's instant but if you are doing this the first time it will have some compile time right then i'm going to launch this on my mobile so i'm going to cancel the existing one and then i'm going to launch it again on my nokia 3.4 which is a, the budget device okay so let's wait until the ships into my phone all right now my app is running on the mobile device and it's get around something around like 18 frames a second the number you see it's quite low due to the screen uh, recording software but you'll see there's a button called high quality high i'm gonna click this and then it will change this into medium quality and you now you can see the frame rate it's hit so 30 frames a second but uh, actually it's something around 30 32 34 frames a second which is quite good i can move here and there and i can so this is pretty cool and then i can click this button again and it will back to the lowest quality and now it's like a stylized environment basically now i'm getting the the maximum performance out of this it's very close to the 40 frames a second the reason why this is so fast so we don't have any textures in this material it's everything generated procedurally uh, using a smart mask in open land but I don't think this is something you would use but you have the option if you're targeting a very low-end devices so let's see how we are doing this so let me go back to unreal engine so okay let's open the mobile theme now we're gonna see the performance section now we are looking at the performance section of this material instance now we can see there are a couple of layers uh, you need to click this checkbox otherwise you, you cannot see this so basically we have a uh, different uh, configurations for epic high medium and low here you can enable a couple of features for example in the highest version we have the ground mid slope and top layer as well as we have the smart mask 2 as well and also if you look at the medium section we only have the ground layer and the slope layer only and so there's no snow layer in this area so in the performance low section we don't have anything but we only have two smart masks which actually paints the whole landscape so this is very powerful then you might ask how i can toggle this how, I'm, how i can do that it's quite easy this is a built-in feature in unreal engine you can go to settings material quality level so you can switch between these four values and then get the look you want and the interesting thing is you can do this runtime you can open your command window so just hit the tilde button and you can get this window and you can type r dot material quality and you can set it 0 1 and depending on the quality level for example i can set it to 0 then it will show me the version without any textures like this yeah that's it and also we did some couple of improvements to the landscape itself to make it run smoothly on mobile device check the documentation below to learn about all these things and how, how you can configure your material to run nicely and smoothly on mobile device. See you soon with something interesting. Bye.